real. America is segregated in so many different ways. When I think back on my high school days and back when I was in K through 12, my schools were all black and Latino to a certain extent. We had maybe a handful of white people. But the way that, from my knowledge, the way that most cities are set up in terms of the education system is like this. You have black schools and you have white schools out in the suburbs. The white schools aren't just 100% white, but you also have other people who are higher up on the economic scale. Asian people are, the, are one of the smallest groups in America, but they're the richest per capita. So they have more money per capita than anybody else. So they're in the suburbs. So out in the suburbs and the private schools and all of these specialized schools you have, the people who are at the top economically and that's generally white people and Asian people and then also you know you may have a couple Arab people Indians as well and then you go to the other side and it's all black and America wonders why we're still dealing with racism why people still don't understand each other as human beings in 2022 and I think that's because of the way that we're raised in America how many of us are really really raised with a diverse group of people how many of us grew up in a neighborhood where we have white people, Indian people, Asian people, Czechoslovakians, Slovenians, people from Kazakhstan, Kazakhstan, Afghanistan, people from China, people from Taiwan, people from the Philippines, people from people from Guam, people from Guatemala, people, you know, how many of us generally grow up in a diverse atmosphere where we can where we can genuinely say I grew up with all different races of people. Some of us can say that. I can say that. My neighborhoods weren't diverse, but I always went out and I sought out diverse friends. And it makes a big difference in the way that a human being looks at the world. If you've grown up with different races, then you are not going to be racist. You may, you may, but most likely you're not. Because you're going to understand from the time you're a child that everybody is a human being. People are trained to look at each other in a tribal way because society is segregated in a tribal way. You go, how many churches? I mean, I, I, my dad is a huge Christian and my uh, one of my sisters is as well. Their church is all black. Even when it comes to the churches, all white church, all black church, Indian Baptist. Let's say Baptist Christian churches. You got a, I know an Indian guy from India. He goes to D.C. to go to an all Indian Baptist church because they don't have any in our area. I know a Chinese guy, he's a Christian, he goes to an all-Chinese Baptist church. Baptist black church, all black. The white people who are Baptist, all white church. So we're segregated, whether you like it or not, and that's the reason why so many people have difficulty understanding that we're all human beings. That's why people don't look at each other as Americans. We're tribalized, because society is tribalized.